continues its bombardment of Gaza as the humanitarian crisis continues to escalate. Israeli defense forces are now focusing on efforts in the south. Rina Roy has our continuing coverage tonight. Israel continuing its barrage on Gaza as Israeli defense forces try to take out Hamas in retaliation for the deadly October 7th terrorist attack. Innocent civilians say they're living in horror as the strikes wipe out entire neighborhoods. This man says he was sitting in his home safe when he was surprised by a belt of fire that hit the entire area as children were playing in the streets. The U.S. urging Israel to help protect the residents of Gaza. It remains imperative that Israel put a premium on civilian protection. Outrage growing over this new video that shows Palestinian men in their underwear, kneeling with their hands behind their backs, surrounded by Israeli soldiers in Gaza. Israel says the men are captured Hamas terror suspects. ABC's James Longman pressing the IDF on that claim. Do you consider these to be terrorists or are they civilians? Israel does not arrest, apprehend or target anyone in the Gaza Strip. That is not a Hamas terrorist or poses an imminent threat to Israel. The Committee to Protect Journalists saying one of those men is Palestinian correspondent Dia al Khalut, and they are demanding his release. <laughs> Meanwhile, in Israel, families of hostages coming together to mark the start of Hanukkah. Among the 137 still missing, eight Americans, including Efrat Moore's cousin, Omer. We want to see negotiation. We understand that every day that they are there jeopardize their lives. So we need action. U.N. Secretary General Antonio Guterres invoking Article 99 at the Security Council, urging an immediate ceasefire in Gaza. The U.N. says nearly 1.9 million Palestinians are now displaced in Gaza and food is scarce. Rena Roy, ABC News, New York. Now, the U.S. says it does not support an immediate ceasefire. The Gaza Health Ministry says nearly 20,000 people have been killed since the October 7th attacks.